morning. Um, it's a big one the day, Ben McDewey. Um, <laughs> was at 1,309 metres above sea level uh, from the car park. It's a, it's just a claim of about a thousand meters. Um, seems like a steady ascent up there. Um, it's a little bit cloudy. It said it was going to be clear, but it's cleared loads. I'll give you a little look. Here. It's cleared loads since I've come to the car park actually. So uh, I'm expecting it by the time I get up there, it should be all right. Like. But um, that doesn't seem too bad at the minute. You can see the path in front of, of you. Um, be a bit of snow at the top. Whether I need my crampons or not, I don't know. Um, a lot of people say when they get up there, you don't really need them unless it's really, really icy. Um, so, yeah, go along to Ben McDewey. And then, I believe most of the walk is from Anami Hatsnot Street. Uh, <laughs> um, most of the walk is from there back to Cairngorm and down from Cairngorm. I might, I might uh, get the railway back down just for the crack, you know. But uh, over yonder there, you can see what I've done the other day. That um, I always have to think about what, it, what it's called. Giel Charn Moor in the distance there. That's quite prominent. And, uh, I mean, you can see miles beyond that as well. The day, it's so clear. Uh, I'm just hoping this is going to clear. <laughs> right. See you in a minute. See them as you're driving in. I mean, even this is about 30 odd miles away, I think. And you can see them clear as a bell in the day. That shows you how clear it is. Um, just starting to clear up there now. Luckily enough, and there's very little wind. Very little wind. It's been quite windy the last couple of days, and that's why I haven't done it any other days. So I waited for a break in the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and come up just like people do at Everest. <laughs> right, well, um, as you can see, I've took my hat off. I should probably take my coat off as well. Like, it's um, even though it's freezing, it's quite warm. Um, it isn't too bad a, a, a climb like up to now. Um, maybe it's just see the car park in the distance there. I'll probably call maybe it's over, just over a mile maybe so I'm not too sure uh, I think I have to go up there up there looks like there's a path um, I'll soon find out uh, I, it's just a, like a steady climb it's, it isn't anything uh, like hardish maybe, maybe it's there the missus might struggle like or to, well, you should at least twist. You should definitely twist. But um, I, it's uh, it's just quite gradual. Um, but like, you can feel the heat off yourself if you know what I mean. Like, uh, but I'm just thinking, like, if I take the coat off, I'll just have to put it on again. About 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> so I, I can virtually come up this bit near again. If you want, <laughs> might scare the way leafly. But um, I, it, like I said, isn't too bad. Uh, Ken Gorm will be up there. Uh, so we'll eventually be making our way along there. About six hours time. <laughs> uh, but I'm really looking forward to it, because uh, 
you can see all the rest of the Cairngorms over the other side there. Uh, I was up in the Vinitia yeah, Railway Monday, was it? I think we went up. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous up there, like. Uh, but like, you can't go up the railway and then up the summit of Cairngorm. Uh, it isn't allowed. I can understand why as well, mind. There's, um, you just get a load of idiots going up. Just say they've done it when they've, they've climbed over 30 metres or so. Uh, aye, so I believe like a return ticket for all day is 20 odd quid. You can, I believe, get a ticket going back down. Uh, like one way down one. I'm sure it said on the website. It was something like about six quid or something like that. Um, but I, that's what I fancy doing, just for the crack. Because it's just opened. Uh, was it now? Start of April. Uh, I think it was January. It reopened. So uh, I don't think there's many videos on YouTube that's got it on. Like so, I thought my day first, please, a premiere. Right, so I'll see you a little bit further up, eh? It's getting steep, I know. <laughs> oh, wow. The sun's burning away the cloud, like. Yeah, I've been through a few bits of snow. Don't think I'll need my cramp on, say. Uh, it's crunchy enough. Uh, Got a little bit to go now, and then along that way, you can just see the the cairn, and I think it's the Wallace station as well at the top of Cairn going there. How lush is this, man? Absolutely stunning. That's Cairn, Cairn Tool, Briac or whatever. <laughs> I, sorry about the pronunciations. Uh, I thought that might have been uh, our summit for the day, but I believe I was as bound yet. Oh, got cold now. Go to the back one. This cairn here, the line of cairns there. I think you will need it in bad weather. You can't see them going all the way to the top. It's uh, Ben McDowey there. This is unreal. Well, that uh, couple's just passed us there. Um, beautiful, beautiful people. Lovely. Go absolutely stunning dog. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I'm coming down this bit here. In the, I'm trying to look for like sort of size 10 11s, like footprints so I can put my feet in them. But they all seem to be a little bit littler. Uh, and then when you stand on actual snow, sometimes you're going in. Uh, it's just starting to melt there. Uh, that sun is beating down now, like uh, knee wind. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, ben McDowie's up there. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Can't get over. Uh, I think coming to the part of the rural wood. I mean, you might be able to see that couple there. Um, where it's all there. Can go back again. Go whip there. Has me foot again. And again. Uh, I, but I don't think it's icy enough for me, um, me, what, me what you call it, me, uh, me spike. So, aye, what'll it be? I'll get myself out another hour to the top, I think. 
gonna rush it. But I mean, look at everyone. Gorgeous. And the views on party here. Yeah. Right, last little bit. I believe there's like sort of false summit up here and then <laughs> you go up a little bit further to that sea. Uh, I but this is the last incline really major one up to Ben McDewey. I mean this water only has been gorgeous man. Stunning. Absolutely next to no wind at all. Well, I'm at the top, uh, a lovely couple there, I took a photo of them, they took a photo of me, lovely, <laughs> dead nice, can he? Uh, I mean, it was breathtaking, utterly, utterly breathtaking. The lad was saying that like, this is dead easy compared to, like some of them are shorter than Monroe's, um, but like, like, rough as all souls again. <laughs> but, um, it, I can't believe how clear it is. There's a cloud and vision. There's like just everything you want. You know, the snow. It's Instagrammable, as uh, Kath, the wife, would see. It is utterly, utterly stunning. Oh. You just cannot stop stopping. You know, and taking photos. It's absolutely beautiful. You just need to soak the hell in. You know, and I'm so glad I'm taking a video of this thing because. You, you, you just kind of believe your eyes, basically. <laughs> and it's so, so calm. Brilliant. Honestly, love it. Sorry for taking so many video of uh, the scenery, but i just gone out with it. Right. Have a little cup of tea or whatever, then head over to Cairn Gorm, which you can see over there. Um head towards the cairn at the top I think it's like a weather station or something there um, I'm just gonna take this in for a little bit get me so along <laughs> this is mid love it don't wanna go home man I've just been talking to a local there, uh, uh, on his way up there. Uh, he said, oh, you know, he said, uh, oh, yeah, get the best of the, like when it's snowy, icy, whatever. Uh, but the earlier it is, because it gets out of the day, obviously, the snow gets softer and it's a bit harder to walk on, like. Um, but, like, <laughs> I've, what, I've seen about five people. 
mostly around this area. Uh, I've got smiles on the faces, man. Including myself, which is a rarity. Uh, <laughs> honestly, man. You see, like, it's fairly easy to get up, you know. Um, obviously, different weather conditions and stuff like that. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I suppose it's haunted. Top Ben McDewey. Um, it's <laughs> the Grey Man or something like that. The big Grey Man. Uh, I suppose it's 30 foot tall or something like that. Uh, to your every three footsteps, it takes one. And you can hear it. Can you hear it? <laughs> uh, aye, so that's a bit of a legend. Um, Right, so we're a bit traversing this hill. Uh, there's Ben McDowell we're going to say. Um, oh, yeah. Aye, so uh, we'll come to the road, the path, sorry, <laughs> uh, where it splits. So, like, you could so, go straight back down, like, not be downy, which I suppose could be appealing to you because it isn't that much of a drop, like. Uh, oh, oh, do as we're doing. <laughs> not, not slipping. Uh, and take the right hand one around to Cairngorm. Right. I think this is a bit of a walk, like an arduous one. We'll see. Right. Got the soft, bloody snow. It's a nightmare. Right. Uh, just for a bit of context for you, that's every more doing there. Uh, uh, in that, I think it's a, is that a 20 minute drive or something. Madly there, I thought I heard one footstep behind us. <laughs> it must be the echo, must be. Can it be the Grey Man? Surely I've got nothing to give him. Aye, uh, so. Aye, uh, that's every more. In there. Stunning area, man. Utterly, utterly stunning. So, this is where we'll divert off and go up to Cairngorm eventually. Quite hard going along, yeah. I mean, that's how far my poles went in there, and that's no, nowhere near. The deepest I've went in. <laughs> that lad's uh, doing a bit of trail running there. Mad man. I mean, it's absolutely bloody gorgeous, but you're having to keep your keep an eye on your foot and go around this part. I hope it, it looks like it's going to end soon. Like, uh, I don't think it's helping that the sun's beating down on this as well. Like, it's starting to melt. Like, uh, but <laughs> it's absolutely like, perfect snow. Like. Unreal, like, so deep. Must come like rolling down from there and gather. What a thought. Right, this is hard going in this, mate. Later on in spring, this will be all really. Well, it's hard enough, like. I thought we're going like down that way. Apparently not. That's a sub summit. Whatever it's called up there. I think I was too tempted by the uh, the green grass, the shrubbery, the the non-white stuff. I was good in like a like a mirage, but uh, that's going to be a lovely view going up that path, mean stunning. Right, nearly at the start of the climb. I'm going to give myself five minutes before I go up, mean. That has been arduous, that thing. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Don't get us wrongly, but wow, not too bad. This side around that corner, so deeply. Oh, give myself five minutes. <sighs>
so that's the second last summit of the day um, end of my holiday actually that's kind of go cool. up there not really quite a climb actually it looks as though you have to go that way then up uh, honestly this week I've had the absolute time of my life I was saying to the wife hey and we can run like different locks. Yeah, that's, that's gorgeous, isn't this gorgeous? And I said, well, I can't. It's like picking what's the best in this world. They're all stunning, you know? <laughs> uh, I want world peace <laughs> with children and animals. Uh, I, this is a bit tricky to get down, by the way. Um, oh, what a time, man. What a time. And I think I see different locks with me. Uh, the Corbett I went up um, Glee Aye that one <laughs> Gilchorn Moor Over the way um, Aye it's been absolutely Superb You cannot knock it It's absolutely beautiful I cannot uh, You cannot put it into words basically you know? I've said it time and time again It's just so much to do right? and you could do another week and not not be bored not be doing the same thing there's so many places to go especially if the weather's canny right uh, I have had a wheel of a time absolute wheel of a time and this is just topped it off really like I mean god the scenery man it blows your mind man blows your mind I'd say probably more stunning than the lakes perhaps, I don't know. It's hard to see, hard to see. I wouldn't like to upset anybody, but it is absolutely gorgeous. If you get the chance, come up because it, it, it is mind blowing. Even driving up, it's absolutely fantastic driving going up that day and night. Uh, right. I'll try and get on this one then. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I've just found out that the wife and the sister in law uh, the wife and the sister in law are at the uh, cafe in the um, vehicular, vehicular railway. So that's great. We can't, we can't do the train on it as well, mate. So that'll save us. <laughs> right. Never no, mind. I suppose you can't enjoy yourself too much, can you? Well, I thought I'd better just sum it up here before I go up uh, Ken Gorm because well, it's a uh, good Friday of the day so obviously bank holiday it's got me chuck that back uh, I didn't want to look a twat at the top basically wait more of a twat right. <laughs> gorgeous I mean at least not one bit there you go that's crap <laughs> Fairly easy going up there, Ben McDewey. Uh, that last bit of like, time, if it's like snow and ice there, obviously that, you know, that caused you a bit bother. But that was sort of no bother, really. Um, Come back down was more of a bother. And then round that corner, that was a bloody nightmare with the deep snow. I took it out of his hat. Then there's that little sub summit sort of thing there. Eh? Mad name. A new steep climb up the thing. Um, can't go. But uh, honestly, man, I'm oh, totally stunning. Can't complain. Yeah. I mean, it's probably took us about six, seven hours or something. I haven't even been looking at the book there. But uh, maybe it's less. But anyway. Oh, stunning. Do it. If you can. Do it. 
I get there, Link. did anyway. Uh, oh, that was bloody amazing, what an amazing day. I'm gonna get the lift down because of the wife in the cafe. Oh, I'm pretty sure I probably spent that week wages. But um uh, oh my god man that, that was a steep steep climb. Just close your eyes and just do it. You know I mean you can go but like anywhere you want but whatever's easiest. That's what I zigzagged up you know just to make these on your legs. But um what you do if there's a one way like downward lift they pass, you go in the lift and you pee at the bottom supposedly, but when we walk the other day you just walk straight out. So uh, I don't know what the crack is early. Um, I, I'm sure it's about six or seven foot, I'll put it in the description. But um, my god, what a day, what a day. I've hit so lucky with the weather. Like I say, that, that bit where the snow was uh, on the ground, it must have been about two feet deep. Let's see. I can stop looking at that view over there. I'll show you in a minute. I'll finish it off with it. Uh, aye. Speechless. Uh, all the best. That was great. See you later.